Hey there, Fisher World. What's shaking? Fat Cat Newton coming at you from Alabama. We are at David Gaston's family's uh, heaven on earth. I don't know what to call it. It's the big bass capital of Talladega County. Talladega County. Talladega County. That's where Talladega. Talladega. What's cool about this place, too, man, is like this is where they made the movie Talladega Nights. They've even got a theme park still open up called Talladega Racetrack. Is that? Theme park is actually a racetrack. So they made it a racetrack after they did the movie? No, it was a racetrack before the movie. Like it was a real thing before the movie. Like an actual. Talladega is like a real thing way before the movie. So you're telling me that before Talladega Nights there was a thing called Talladega? Talladega, the, the city's named Talladega, and then Talladega After the movie track. Talladega Nights. Yeah. Right, that's what. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here we are, we're going to go ahead and catch some Big Belly Kellys. He's telling me we're going to get a double digit out of here. Maybe even two. We're going to see what happens. You see, I'm throwing some crazy stuff right there. I got some different things. Bobby's up there throwing a seven. Oh. Mm. He's just swinging and missing like always. Come on, Bobby. Yeah, okay, get, get a close-up of that, Tanner. Appreciate it, bud. I'll put the camera up all morning, but as soon as I get hung up and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Extra heavy rods with braid. Got me. I hear you, dude. Well, I mean, you gotta, you can't get no penetration on a big giant wire hook. Well, are there any, uh, do you have multiple swim jig setups? There he is. Uh, Man, it's a seven foot heavy. Oh, a double. I believe mine is much bigger. Yeah, you got me. Yeah, by a little bit. Oh, oh I definitely got you. <laughs> Texas rigging me something. I've caught more fish than you, and you could tell me what to do. This guy. It's because it's his palm. I apologize. The best fisherman I ever met, Bobby. You giving me advice? I can give you some advice, advice, all right? I don't have any for you, man. You're doing a good job, David. Here. I mean, now you are the guy who got hung on top of a bridge. Uh, I was here. I brought this just for David. Oh, here, bud, tie this one. Is that for me? It's for you, bud. Wow. No, 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 what about this one hook on the back? That's, that's, uh, that's, I got another one in here, too. We talked about, uh, fly fishing. Came here to fly fish. Oh, this is Swamp Docking for Reaction Innovations. You can get this right now at FishermanCentral.com. So I bought a bunch of frogs. I got a bunch of them in here that I got from Fisherman Central. I figured we're coming here to Land of the Giants here in Talladega, Alabama with David Gaston. Sillamacaga. Sillamacaga. Yes, yeah, Indian for trailer park. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like to have about a five or six foot tagline. Now, do you put an extra bite on your tagline a lot of times? Sometimes, yeah. I just, I save the juice out of the Vienna sausage can and just put that slime all over the line. Yeah. That's a good tagline. It helps the cast and tell you when it gets up on your main line, does it not? Kind of like it does. Magic. No, it does. You just put that down. This this is good. Throw that right in the four. Get caught in the bilge pump. No big deal. Not my problem. Mine is bigger. Mine yeah. is bigger again. Got me. Yeah, you weren't drift up in there. Uh, you don't. There, there's buoy markers that there's won't let you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not a big one, but he's a big nice. He's the biggest one of the day. Chonk. Oh, yes, sir. Look at there. Now, you nice. imagine, look at the fillets on that, the loins. Oh, yeah. Get no, in and look got, at them loins. Yeah. Look at the back strap. Just cut yeah. them off and throw him back in there. Easy, Bobby. Oh, yes, sir. Giant. Giant. That's what it's all about right there, folks. That's why you drive 11 hours to come to Alabama. Right there. Right, David? Absolutely. I mean, people search their whole life for a trophy bass like that and just yeah. never get the opportunity to quite do that. I'm truly blessed, man. Thanks yeah. for having me out. And, oh, yeah, uh,
Kelly, Kelly. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, baby, right here, baby. Oh, come on, Bobby. Oh, oh mouthful of plug, mouthful of plug. All right, nice. Hot, hot, hot. Hot. Ah. <laughs> nice. Yes, sir. Good job, Bobby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, David Gaston put a big Kelly belly, big belly, whatever her name is in the boat. So we spent all day out here yesterday looking for a big belly Kelly like that. Couldn't find it. Decided we're going to do it. Day number two, I come out here, Dave was like, I know what to do, we gotta throw some big plugs. Boom goes a dynamite. So we're gonna do a little test on her now. I think, personally, she's not spawned out yet. David seems to think she is, but them guts like that, we're gonna do, I got a little trick to see if she spawned out or not, because if she spawned out, we're gonna, we're not gonna eat her. I normally eat fish at least six pounds and bigger. You know, I like my bass, I like having bass steaks, but if she's pregnant, we're not gonna eat her. So we're just gonna do a pregnancy test real quick. All right, folks, here's the deal. This is top secret G42 classified fat cat information. All the pros do this, they just don't talk about it. When you catch a bass, you think it's pregnant, the best way to check is to go get you a pregnancy test. It's very easy, you gotta be gentle with these bass. Uh, it's kind of an invasive test, but it's, it, I've been, like I said, I've been using it since 87. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pregnancy test, you're gonna pull that cap off, Right there, now you're gonna take this piece right here and you're gonna insert it into the reproductive area. Under the belly, that little hole, you're gonna just insert it, be gentle. All right, so come on, baby. Nice layover for daddy, come on. Oh yeah, you just gotta get it right in the hole. Can you see the hole right there? See the hole? That's the hole you wanna get it in. All right, get it on the side, She get it underwater. And then when you push that bad boy in, you got to be gentle. You got to be, oh, easy. She's, a, she don't like it. Easy. Oh, come on, Bobby. All right, hold on. Bear with me. This is not easy. Oh, she's moving all around. Must be your first time. Do you not do this here, David? Will you, how do you, easy. I think I messed up. I may have messed up. I, uh. That's, that's a piece of corn. Pretty sure I went in the wrong hole. Let's see. This is saying not pregnant. Definitely the wrong hole. <coughs> Sorry, dude. Um, yeah, no big deal. So you hit it all, just act doubtful with that whole situation. I, I've never seen that technique used before. I just, I'm worried about the fish's health. <sighs> Fish will be fine. I've been doing this since 87. I t the fish is in a lot of, take, take it out for yourself. The fish will be, the fish is good, I promise you. The fish, I do okay. it all the time. Yeah. I mean, if she's had time to recuperate from something like that. I'll, Check her out, Bobby. <laughs> kidding me right now? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what? You're messing with me. No. No, she's getting a little white and pale on me. She's on her side. Are you serious? Yeah, here, look for yourself. She's just resting. That was, it's a stressful thing. She, I got a way I can fix her. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you think you can get her back on her side or we can let her go in a second, that'd be great. Oh, dude. Dude, bro. I've been using this trick since 87, son. I come prepared. See, I got the pregnancy test, same thing. Boom. Take this. What you gonna do with that? It's just, like, I've had it happen to me a lot of times from, like, how I eat. I eat, like, super healthy. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I get like real bad chest pains and I fall out and then when they bring me back They shock me to bring me back. So I thought I used the same thing with fish. That's how they legal for fish I don't it's only illegal if you get caught this give me some room Bobby. I'm yeah. gonna fix this. Yeah, go ahead Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get back in this watch. I'm gonna be part yeah, of yeah. it. All right folks Here's the deal man got me a little taser action. Everybody should have one on their boat if you're a professional like myself I've been doing this since 87 a lot of guys use a Mountain Dew Sprite trick to revive fish or they use the old Gerald Swindle G juice Let's carry a taser around, man. This fish, she's laying there on her side. She's recuperating from the pregnancy test. A lot of us guys do. All this is standard stuff for all professionals. You know what I'm saying? We'll reach in there, do a zap, zap, zappy. She'll pop right back to life. Pizza cake. Done it 87 times. Go reach in there and. Oh, dude. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. You good? You good. Wake up. 
We're good. Uh, hey, we're good. Yeah, right. we're good, man. I think he's all right. Yeah. We're good. Uh, um, I'm not sure about the fish. What do you mean you're not sure about the fish? This is a new taser. I think it's good. We'll, do, we'll, we'll, just go, we'll release it now instead of keeping it alive. Well, I think it's. And you fried that thing. What? That fish is fine. Look how lively it is. Here, man. We'll do. We'll release it. I'm gonna let it. This. Man, that. Man, that's a fish. It's fine, bub. We're gonna let it go. Why? It'll swim off. You ain't mad though, right? I Look at it. I ain't tickled with it. Look at that. It's gonna swim right off. Give a little bit of. Man, you're gonna have to go. You, you, we, we're gonna to, I'm taking back the truck. You, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cut this short today, man. That fish is perfectly fine. It's belly up. It, take me back. I'll go back. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I didn't yeah, want yeah. to come here anyway. Man, uh, yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just All go right, ahead and listen. I don't need you to Thought wear Thought you were back. a professional. You know what I mean? Thought you were a professional. That's what professionals do. That's not ethical. That's you're not, just. You're not ethical. Hey, like your apples, Bobby. I, the fish ain't dead. I ain't the one that killed it. You caught it. You caught it. You gill it. You got it in the daggone gill. Man, you pull, if you're trying to what? You pull corn out the fish, man. I, the pregnant. What are you? You the one feeding them corn? Who feeds their fish corn? I can't help that. I mean, fish. I, we know bass cannot digest corn, and you're feeding fish corn. You, I, you saw me pull corn I mean, out of the fish, you, so you killed the fish by feeding the corn. Man, you just used that new taser. You said you didn't know you weren't about it. You was just, it was a new one. You didn't. It wasn't your old one. I mean, that was you had too much juice in that. I, should, I probably should have brought my old taser. It's, uh, you know what? I'm gonna be the bigger man in this because yeah. apparently you, yeah. you know, you're. Yeah, man. Look, hey, that, that's how we. I'll take me on back to the truck. Yeah, man, that's no big deal. Probably yeah, the best that, place for me great. right now. That's great. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch you on the turnaround. How about that? We'll just, we'll just act like this just never outside. happened. Yeah. No. No, I'm just gonna take you back. It's just gonna be the end of it. I just don't really wanna. Yeah. Yeah. I don't appreciate that, man. Hey. It, you shouldn't have cut a corn. It would have been fine if y'all didn't. Uh, uh, uh. No, Bobby! No! Come on, Bobby! No, Bobby, get your life right.